was diagnosed with Ehlers Danlos Syndrome and reflex sympathetic dystrophy at the age of 13. Um, I became a wheelchair user at the same time um, due to my knees fusing, so I cannot stand or walk. So it means that you've got very flexible joints that dislocate very easily. So waited um, till 2013 when I was partnered with Griffin. And as soon as he came in the room, just my face lit up. I had a massive smile on my face. Um, I knew my life was going to change that day. Take it. Put it in. Good boy. Pretty. This one. That's it. Take it. Put it in. Good boy. Let's go. Yes. Good boy. And from then on, life's been totally different. Um, I go out on my own, um, he helps me with everything, everything possible, <laughs> um, even tries to do things that I'm like, no, no, you can't do, but he, he tries, he does his best. Yeah, he just helps me with everything from opening and closing doors, loading and un unloading the washing machine, um, opening and closing the fridge, pressing switches. Ready? Zip. Doing zips, taking off jumpers, taking off shoes, the list goes on and on. We go out everywhere, I, I could go out on my own, um, I don't need any help from anyone, which is such a huge relief. I'm not so invisible now, um, being a wheelchair user, people just ignore you when you go past. Um, but now I've got Griffin, they just, I'm just another person, but a person with a dog. <laughs> That's better. That's I'd be lost without him. Boy. Yeah, he, he's just, he's just made everything happier. <laughs> yeah, you don't understand until you get your, your assistant dog what it's going to be like. You just think, oh, it's just going to be a dog that's going to help. But it changes every single part of the aspect of life. Riffin, let's make a kiss.